The Eiffel Tower. Throughout history, people have built great buildings that have become symbols of their age. Like the pyramids in Egypt, the Parthenon in Greece, or the Great Wall of China. In each age, they have built with the materials available to them. Stone, wood, or brick. Until, in the 19th century, people began building with iron and steel. This allowed them to construct lighter, stronger, and even taller buildings. A French engineer, Gustave Eiffel, understood this very well. Eiffel was already known for his railway bridges and for the large domes he built and for the internal structure inside the Statue of Liberty, the great artwork of one of his fellow countrymen, Bartholdi. In 1889, a great world fair or exhibition was going to be held in Paris. The event was to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the French Revolution. The organizers wanted to erect a commemorative building for it that would be remembered for years to come. It had to be something that would combine science and beauty, something unique and spectacular. The idea that caught their imagination the most was the proposal to build a wonderful iron tower put forward by mm -hmm. Gustav Eiffel. The Eiffel Tower of Paris. This amazing structure is over 300 meters high, as long as three football pitches put together. More than 7,000 tons of iron to make it. That's enough to make 230 trains. For 30 years, it was the tallest building in the world. In order to keep it in pristine condition, it is painted every five years. It takes more than 50 tons of paint, though. The Eiffel Tower is the best known monument in Europe. It has become a symbol of Paris and of all France. But it is also a symbol of the modern age and of the technical advances of the last 150 years. Could you imagine Paris without the Eiffel Tower?